So where did crops come from? Uh, we don't know, right? Anybody who studies history uh, believes sort of the same thing, that about seven or 10,000 years ago, depending on the crop, our ancestors had been eating wild seeds and they threw them in a trash dump and some grew and some had nice characteristics and eventually our ancestors said, hey, we should just plant these. Uh, and then over time, uh, these crops turned, in the case of corn, from something that looks like a big weed to something with a single stalk and a nice big ear. Okay? So we don't know exactly what happened, but all the evidence suggests that that's what happened is people selected things out of trash dumps. Now I'm a public corn breeder, which is very rare in the United States uh, at this point. There's only about three or four, depending on how you count us now. And the reason for that is private industry breeds in Iowa and Illinois, and they do a very good job for the Midwest, but they ignore Texas. Uh, they sell seed here, but there's no breeding in Texas. So while yield has continued to go up through most of the United States, Texas has basically been flat for the last 15 years. Okay? But I do want to point out here that uh, the, the industry focus in corn is very new. So in 1908, there are two professors that came up with this idea of scientific plant breeding for hybrid vigor. Henry Wallace, one of our first secretary, well, not first, but one of the early secretaries of agriculture, founded Hi Pioneer Hybrid Seed in 1924. But what he was selling was seed that the public sector was developing. Okay? And so the public sector developed most of the seed until about 1975. Uh, and that's when Iowa State developed this line B73. And after that point, industry sort of developed their own breeding programs. Okay? And that's when we see all the public breeding programs sort of disappear across, especially the I states in the Midwest. Yet, industry relies on our graduate students and, and ideas like genomic selection, some of the new techniques that are developed in the public sector. Um, we're a little different because we actually have a public breeding program that sells varieties to industry that then sells hybrids to farmers. Okay? So why do we care about this? Why is this important? Uh, I think this is the most commonly use justification. Uh, population's growing, we need food to you know, feed a growing population. Corn increasing in yield by eightfold means eightfold less area is needed to grow the same amount of corn. So that means you have more land for urbanization, you have more land for uh, natural ecosystems, you have more land for planting your garden, right? Um, and that's because we produce more and less, less land, but we're gonna have to continue to do that and we're not making any more land. Uh, Norman Borlaug, who was a Nobel Prize winner, um, was also a Texas A&M faculty member, really, really pushed this idea that we're plant breeding for this growing population. 